All right, so if you love sports poster design, then yes, you are in the right place. And today I'm going to share some of my tips to create any stunning artwork using Adobe Photoshop. So if you are new to this channel and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe. And if you want to get this PST file, color lights, and all the resources, then it's available on my Patreon. And the Patreon link is in the description as below. And there are tons to cover. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So here we go and we're in Photoshop and let's create artboard for us. So for that, press Ctrl and N. And I'm going for 4 by 5 resolution to 300, color mode to RGB, bitrate to 80. Let's keep everything as default and let's click on create. So right after that, let's drag and drop this texture PNG right over here. So see, you can see that it's very small image. So press Ctrl and click to make the selection. Press Ctrl, Shift and I to make an inverse selection. Uh, let's go to edit let's go to generative fill uh, let's click on generate so let's give it some time and here we go and instead of scaling i prefer uh, using generative fill so let's select these two and press ctrl and e to merge it and let's convert it as a single image so let's rename this as a paper uh, texture now let's drag and drop this uh, PNG right over here and let's keep it somewhere around here. Press Ctrl and T and before that let's convert it as a smart object and press Ctrl and T. Let's make it a little bigger. Yep, something like that. And let's add a little rotation. Yep, somewhere around here. Or yep, let's yeah, let's make it like that and let's Keep this texture, keep this paper texture right above this layer and right click create clipping max. And now let's make a copy, control J and then press control and T. Let's move this right over here, maybe somewhere around here. And yep, like that. And uh, let's drop down the opacity for this paper texture a little bit and let's see let's drop it down a little bit maybe somewhere around here and let's do the same thing for this one let's drop it down maybe right around here and then let's drag and drop this player image right over here and let's keep it just above press ctrl and t and let's make it a little smaller and maybe some more and let's keep it right around here or maybe let's see yeah let's keep it somewhere around here uh let's go over here and let's add a solid and let's keep a kind of uh darker red maybe something like that and let's click ok and then now let's drag and drop uh, this image right over here and let's keep it all the way to the bottom maybe somewhere around here press ctrl and t let's make it a little bigger here we go and then let's change the opacity maybe somewhere around here let's drop it down maybe somewhere around 13 now let's keep it like that and let's add some text so let's go over here uh let's go for uh i'll just go with this font and let's say here we go and uh, let's convert this text as a shape right and then after that we can tweak some typo so let's select these few lines and maybe let's drop it down somewhere around here and let's add some more text
there we go and then let's add some doodle so now let's drag and drop this doodle png right over here Control t let's make it a little smaller and let's add right around here and uh, let's change the color overlay and let's go for a kind of similar color and for this one let's change the color to white i'll say yep let's go for this one and uh, let's do the same thing for this one too let's go for a white color and even for, for san francisco too let's change it to white and let's add a one more text and let's go for yep let's go for this font and press ctrl and t let's make it a little bigger and let's keep it right around here and let's change the color to kind of darker color and let's keep it just right above this 49 ctrl t here we go and then we can draw our own doodles so let's go for a brush and uh, let's create a new layer on very top and uh, let's go for a kind of uh, darker red yep maybe let's go for some darker yep just like so and maybe let's draw our own doodles Now let's uh, let's drag and drop uh, this another doodle right over here. Press Ctrl T. Let's make it a little smaller, and let's keep it right around here. And let's do the same thing. Let's make a copy of this doodle. Let's make it a little bigger. Let's add a rotation. Let's keep it right around here, and let's keep it all the way to the bottom. And then maybe yeah let's keep it right around here let's change the color overlay to kind of white and let's see yeah, let's add a color overlay on this layer too and let's give it a kind of white color And let's drag and drop another doodle right over here. Control T. Let's make it a little smaller. Let's add a rotation. Yep, let's keep it right around here and let's add a color overlay. And let's keep it under that player image right around here. And let's make a copy of this player image. Control J and let's add a color over in the bottom and let's give it a pure white color and control t let's move it offset it a little bit yep something something like that here we go and let's make a one more copy control j and let's add a stroke and for the stroke I will just go with kind of darker maybe kind of similar red and let's increase the size just like so here we go and then uh, let's move this thing a little up or yep 
maybe let's see let's keep it right around here and let's make a one more copy of the doodle control j control t let's add a rotation and then let's keep it right around here just like so and then let's add a few more text so i'll just add a one text right around here and for this one i'll just go with uh, this font let's make it a little smaller there we go and let's go for a darker color yeah let's go for a off white and let's create a one more layer under that text layer go to brush and let's go for a darker color and let's add a highlighter right around here or a maybe one right here one right here and let's change the text color maybe for these three let's go for for a darker red yep let's go for this color maybe copy that color code and let's add the same color in this text too and let's add the same color in this one too all right so here we go this is what we got and then let's add a one more text right around here and let's go for uh, a, this font and control T uh, where is it it's right here let's keep it all the way to the top and let's change the font to white and let's increase the font size here we go and maybe let's decrease this a little bit copy control v control c control v here we go and make a rotation yep just like so and let's make one more text right around here Control T, let's make it bigger and let's add a rotation just like here and let's add a one more text and let's change the font to let's see let's go for this font Control T, let's add a rotation and let's keep it right around here around here now let's add a one more text on very top Let's give it a kind of darker color and let's change the font uh, to I will say uh, let's go for kind of similar font let's make it a little smaller here we go and let's keep it just in the center Let's make a one more copy and let's change the color overlay to kind of darker color here we go and maybe let's add a rotation a little bit just like that and 
and let's let's drag and drop this another doodle right here and maybe let's make it a little smaller and then let's add one right here let's add a color overlay and let's give it a kind of brighter color and on very top let's go over it add a lookup and from here click on load and I'm going to use this towel lot. If you want to get this lot, please check on the description list below. So select this one and click on load. So this is what we got. And let's do a simple color addition for this player image. So select this one. Go to filter. Let's go to camera raw filter. And then let's increase. Uh, Let's drop down the highlights, let's increase the shadows, let's increase the texture, and let's increase the clarity. And on detail tab, on color mixer tab, let's drop down for orange and yellow. Just like so, and let's click on OK. So this is what we got, and let's make a one more copy, Control J, Control T. Let's make it bigger. Uh, let's keep it all the way to the bottom. Be right around here, and and let's go to filter. Let's go to filter gallery, and I'm going to apply a cutout. So let's click on that cutout. Let's increase these two, and let's click on OK. And let's change the blending mode to hard light and let's drop down the opacity a little bit here just just like so so here you go and that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and i'll see you on next video till then you guys take care be safe and be creative Bye bye